welcome back to my youtube channel welcome if you're new then hello thank you for clicking on today's video and if you are a recurrent subscriber then hello hope you're well um so today's video is actually a really unplanned video but um you guys are so you're gonna get because easy quick to film and i have a picture ready to edit so this video is going to be how i edit my instagram photos because if you notice if you do follow me i've just kind of got into a bit of an instagrammer game strong it's going strong i've actually kind of like got a feed going dare i say it and i didn't really know if it was like actually very good because no one really said anything but then i did this kind of like q a yesterday and everyone was like oh my god your feed's really nice like how do you edit your photos and i was like well I'm gonna tell you. So if you want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, then let's get into the video. So guys, before I get into this video, please hit please hit the like button because it means the world to me that it kind of indicates that you've actually enjoyed it. <laughs> so um first up because i know people are going to ask what i take my photos on before i drop the thing is my iphone 11 pro max so it has these lovely three cameras on it and yeah it's pretty good to be honest i mean it is it is really good to be honest so um i'm lucky to have it i have it on contract through vodafone it costs me roughly 65 pounds a month a lot of money but it's worth it for the photos so, um, I'm going to go ahead and go on, um, what's it called, screen share, I'm going to move over a bit so you can actually see. So, um, when I take a photo, me and Greg will go to a photo location, so today we went to Worcester, which is a town near us, and um, I went for a coffee, I went for a coffee actually with my two friends today, not Greg, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> Um, Greg was there, but he wasn't here at this point. Um, and I got a photo. So you're about to see what goes into actually taking these photos. So this is where they start, and we're going to keep going, 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 going. As if you've lived, keep going. This is how many photos I take to get one. Then we carried on at the car park. This is how many. I need so that is kind of how what how many I take for one Instagram post so I then kind of go through them and I'm like oh okay no 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 and then basically I go through and favorite all the ones I like so if I go on to my favorites so you'll see there was three I liked so I then get the one I like which was so I go onto my airbrush app I go on library and then I go on to favorites and then I press the photo I want to edit so that is there that on there I then typically this is a very typically going I go on tools relight so I'll add lighting because sometimes the photos are too dark so you can press the this little orange button down on the corner to do it before and after so i really like that but i'm going to take it down a little bit just because it's a little bit harsh and then i really like that then i'll sometimes whiten my teeth i'll uh maybe if i've got like a massive spot i might just get rid of it because ugh. and then typically going if i have like a really yellow piece of hair so like here i'll um get my white tool on retouch and I'll like go over it to like get, can you see the difference? Can you, has it done it? There you go, see? And it gets rid of the orange, the like orange. So I might just do that and then it's like, just kind of re-pimps my hair. There you go. Put it down there and then on there. As you can see, so you can always check kind of what you want to do. So once I've done that, so once I've done that, I move the photo to Lightroom, which on there I'll click all photos and then I've actually already edited this one. So I'm going to go on to, so you press add photos from camera roll and then I'm going to add this one here. So 
this is when like the massive like transformation happens so i go on to those so people were like oh have you got a preset and i was like no but i probably should but i just like i like to just kind of go with the flow on how a photo is because if, if a photo is naturally lighter i don't have to change it as much but when a photo is dark i have to do it more so i kind of just do it to the eye but you kind of get into the habit of it so what i do is i go on to light and then i do the exposure to like there so you can kind of do you can press it for before and after Mm, maybe a bit more actually then contrast i mean like maybe up to like four or five highlights i do maybe like seven and you just keep checking how light it's going shadows i always kind of ramp up to like nine or eight whites again i move up and then blacks i move up as well because i want the blacks being lightened so then you can press for before and after so you can see the fur is a lot lighter which I'm loving already. You then kind of just go over it a bit. So if I want to highlight a bit more, I'll do that. Then you just export the camera. To, you export the photo to the camera roll. So then you get your Instagram and then your photo is the first one. So you just press next. This is the first thing. So I always, always put the Aiden filter on and then I put it to 35. So that kind of gives it you can see a bit more of a I don't even know um, and then I'll kind of just go over the Instagram or I'll probably sharpen it a little bit um, I'll then do the highlights maybe a bit more saturation a tiny little bit but really not that much brightness see I don't maybe just like one like really minimal and then i will press next and then i'll basically screenshot that like so i'll then save that so you press back and then you just press save as draft and then that saves it already edited so you can just press on it to add a title so i do that so that's saved then what i do is i go onto this app called un um right so on there is my instagram feed how it is um i'm then going to press add then add that photo in and then it shows it what it's going to look like on my Instagram. So that goes really well with my feed and I'm really, really happy with that. It might even be a little bit white. So I might just let the blacks go a bit um, darker, a bit stronger. But that's roughly how I edit them. And then obviously you can just tweak it a little bit um, of how kind of you need to but that's kind of how i edit them so that's ready to go up to a night now i'll probably fiddle around with it a lot a little bit more but also you don't want to see the ins and outs of it um i'm just trying to think if there's anything else i do no but that una map is really good because it kind of like you can see what it looks like you can see what it's going to look like on your feed before it's on there so you can see if it really goes with your feed or not um because as much as like this is so over complicating everything because i've been doing it for so long now it's kind of like second nature so when I go on my phone, you can see by my feed, it's just very, can you see, it's just very Instagrammer. And I just can't believe it's me, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, that is that. I hope you have, a I hope you have enjoyed, obviously it's a little video, Probably I'm, I'm probably going to do it as an extra video this week, um, which, lucky you guys. But yeah, I hope that helps you out and that you can kind of, edit your photos a bit better um get your gram worthy feeds and yeah i have noticed the massive difference in kind of putting effort into my instagram i've gained a lot more followers um from it i guess i guess it just looks a bit more professional which i never really expected um because i am more into my youtube but instagram doesn't hurt so yeah that is that i hope you've enjoyed and um, let me know if you want me to do stuff like this more um I hope it helps you let me know kind of like how you found it in the comments down below and yeah i will see you in my next video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye